<sighs> yeah, it's been a while, I know. So, um, still can't cake flip, but I'm still trying, getting closer to it. And uh, I did land, just land one kick flip. Um, did it right before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, but I've uh, been getting out, getting some skating done, um, got a new camera, all that great stuff. Um, but yeah, but that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is what's inside this bag and uh, why I think it's kind of important to have one of these. So let's get into it. Bang, bang. try um, once again my channel where I try things that I once gave up I'm Tristan and I'm still trying to do things that I once gave up so far this journey has taken me through skateboarding and uh, that's where I kind of am at this moment um, but as uh, time goes on I hope to add more things to the channel uh, what I'm here to talk about today is this guy right here boom this is my skate park skateboard dad go EDC pouch um, I've got my little carabiner thing on the back here so I can strap it to bags. I've got some little ace um, uh, re-threaders. Um, but we're gonna start off with what's right here. On the very, well, right there. Focus, there we go, right there, this thing. So, in my uh, journey into skateboarding with my kids, I very quickly learned that I suck at gripping boards but I'm stubborn and I was gonna do it anyways and unfortunately um, my learning had to go through my, my kids' skateboards. Um, I'm better at it now and I have found that this blade right here by Gerber, this tool, um, has been the best tool for gripping boards. I'll get that kind of close up there, right there. So one of the things that I love, oh, right there, I'm gonna get that love about this knife is it's got this, take a look here, it's got this lip. See that right there, that lip right there? What I have found is that, no, don't focus on me, focus on, focus on the knife. There, that little lip right there, when it comes to like gripping a board, it's like the perfect angle where the middle lip actually rests on the, the skateboard itself um, and the razor just kind of slides straight through. Um, it's great because I found that by using this, this pocket tool that you can get at like Home Depot for like 20 bucks, um, prevents you from cutting too far into your grip tape and taking a gouge out of your grip tape, but it also stops you from taking a chunk or a shave out of your skateboard as well. Um, really great tool, super convenient, and that bad boy fits right up here in the top, right there. Just kind of sinks right in here, there we go. Um, fortunately, don't have the fancy overhead camera thing set up that I used for my, uh, my busting boards review, which uh, if you guys wanna watch that, that's and go up in the, one of these corners. Um, I couldn't be arsed to do it. Just, I'm not gonna lie. This setup is a pain in the ass. I've got a light here, I've got a light there, I've got a light on the chandelier, like right freaking here. And uh, it takes me longer to set up the lighting and the camera to do these videos than it does to actually film the damn videos. Awkward silence. So, 
Um, we're just gonna kind of hold this up to the camera and hope it kind of goes in. So great zip pouch. I will link this pouch um, that I got from, on Amazon um, in the description below, but let's, let's open it. Look at that, it's so organized and pretty. Oh, oh, you would only think I'm only a little bit anal about stuff like this, but I'm actually quite. Look at that. So we'll kind of get into it. The first thing we're gonna look at, well, not first thing, but second thing we're gonna look at that I've got in this pouch is my favorite skate tool. Um, I know it's kind of dumb to think of like, oh, it's a good, just go favorite skate tool. This is my favorite freaking skate tool. It fits in your pockets and it's super convenient and it's made by my favorite truck company. Ace and it comes apart um, really really cool um, I like just the convenience of this I don't need like a fancy ratchety tool this guy right here works great and on the inside right how and on the inside right well wait 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 aim get it right in the hole look at that <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> right, right in the hole um, you've got the re-threaders for the kingpin and the re-threader for your axles um, I, that's one of the things that I like about ace trucks um, is the fact that they want you to skate them until they fall apart um, and I just think small things like that are great um, your tool here the uh, your wrench it's got allen key at the end and it's got a Phillips head so it kind of covers the bases um, I don't know what you guys' thoughts are on Phillips versus Allen key. Um, I have never stripped an Allen key, uh, but I've stripped a Phillips head, so probably gonna change the hardware. And conveniently, Ace actually makes um, Allen key hardware, so maybe next board. Speaking of Allen keys, I've got two Allen keys in here um, because I am also a rollerblader, AKA a fruit booter. Um, uh, I did that before I ever skateboarded, so um, I bring this with me when I rollerblade as well. So I've got Allen keys because, you know, need that. Uh, next thing we got in here is some good old fashioned ba -ba -ba -ba, Loctite. Yeah, that's a, that's a must have. Um, shit comes loose, um, so it's good to have that. Next thing is some good old fashioned super glue. Especially when you've got two kids, um, my boys chip up their boards like no tomorrow. Um, and I've got one child who um, is on the spectrum um, and he is very particular about how his skateboards look and um, he gets very upset when they get damaged. So um, as you can see, I have used this quite a bit. Um, comes in real handy, oop, dropped it. Um, but it's also um, good for sealing up cuts and wounds too. Um, fun fact, super glue was originally invented for field surgeons to use as liquid sutures. So got that right now. All right, um, next thing up, I have got hardware. I've got some extra nuts and bolts. These nuts and these bolts are right high y'all. Cause you never know if you are gonna need some extra hardware. And then I've got extra hardware for my roller boots as well. Just throw that right there. Um, next up, face shield. This is a little barrier face shield. Um, I am CPR certified. Um, I have experience working at Camp Woodward. There have been times where kids have gotten knocked out and um, you don't know when you might have to give CPR. Um, it's good to have a barrier for that. Um, speaking of CPR, the other thing that I've got in my bag is this guy. Pew, 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 pew. Wow, 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 wow. Um, really, really useful um, for finding your keys when you drop them in the car, um, but also if you've got to check to see if people's eyes are dilating or not. And then last but not least, um, I wouldn't be a skate dad if I didn't have Band-Aids. Flip it over, Band-Aids. Need to have Band-Aids. They're mostly for me, but mostly for the kids, but mostly for me, Band-Aids. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's everything that I carry in my uh, EDC pouch here. Um, it's convenient, it's easy to pack. Um, the little carabiner I can strap it to any of my bags, my camera bag, one of the kids' skate bags. Um, it's just an easy way for me to keep all this crap um, with me at all times. So yeah, that's it. Just kind of a small, short video. Um, just wanted to get back into it. Um, just kind of like if you're watching this far along, um, I just wanted to thank um, everybody who commented on my kickflip video. Um, I never imagined that it was going to do as well as it did. Um, I think it got up to 16,000 views, and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of 
um, kind of freaked me out just a bit. Um, I wasn't anticipating it was going to do that well, and um, kind of just got kind of self-conscious. I wasn't sure what to do next. Um, you know, just kind of be, you know, with this channel, I want to be honest. Um, that's why at the end of the kickflip video, I was honest with you guys. I didn't land a kickflip. Um, you know, I, I didn't achieve what I wanted to, and skateboarding is hard. Um, and just got an overwhelming response from you guys with regards to um, the honesty of that video. Um, but I was still really just like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to stop this. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. And now here I am talking about crap that I carry to the skate park. So here I am, this is what I'm doing next. Um, for the future of this channel, um, I do wanna do more stuff. So I will be venturing maybe into other things. Um, and, you know, this, the whole point of the eighth try is me trying things that I once gave up. Um, that being, um, I've tried starting YouTube, I don't know how many times in the past. Um, oops, my microphone, that. Um, but um, I've also launched my own photography business last year called Artifacts of Light. Um, so I'm learning more about photography um, and I wanna kinda see if I can loop that back into skateboarding as well. So um, I will keep hitting the damn microphone. Um, I'm gonna do some tutorials on um, skateboard photography uh, and filming skateboarding. Um, uh, if you guys are interested in that, um, too, uh, uh, great. If you're not, too freaking bad because I'm gonna make it anyways. Um, and yeah, just um, kind of see how things go. But right now, skateboarding focused. In the future, we could be talking about building Gundams. Maybe I already have a Gundam. Who knows? So yeah, that's it. Um, until then, I'll catch you on the next try. Deuces. I think that went, I think that went really well. Yeah. Here, yeah, check this out. When I was complaining about my lighting, look at this. Look, hold on, hold on. Which one do I, which one do I loosen to make it spin? This, oh no, ooh, that was not the knob I was looking to loosen. Hold on here, hold on. There you go, look at this. I got this light right here. And then, ooh, we got that light over there. And then, hold on, wait for it. Nope, that's not the right one either. Oh, I got that light up, there's a light up there too. It takes me longer to do the lighting than it does to film this damn video. That's why I always have beer. If you're still watching, go to bed. Why am I whispering? I don't know.